Hi you guys. Ever since Michelle and I did the video, the best skin secret that everyone should know about, and we did a whole video on the CO Beauty silicone patches, we've had a lot of people ask us questions, ask practices, tips and tricks, and I feel like I've become a master since we did that video because I've been using them on the daily, and there are things I've learned about them that I didn't even know. For example, did you know you can actually wash the silicone patches? I was like, wait, what? You can rinse them off? This is like the most brilliant thing if you use self-tanner or if you accidentally put them on and you have some lotion residue or oil or something. I was like, this is amazing. That's like buying a car and you don't even realize you have seat heaters until a year and a half later and you live in the coldest place of America. Right? I feel like that's almost the exact same thing. Anyway, I'm really excited to show you guys how to ensure that you get the most out of your patches and get those 15 uses down. When is the best time to wear your CO Beauty patches? Ideally at night, but you can wear them anytime during the day for two to four hours. CO recommends four hours for that quick boost, but I have noticed a huge difference even when I've worn them for two hours. The more you use them, the better your results are gonna be and the better your skin's gonna look. I'm gonna show you guys a week in the life of the CO Beauty patches. <laughs> I am going to wear it while I work today. So I'm gonna apply my decollete one now, run to my meeting, and then when I get back, I'll apply the forehead and the under eye patches. I'm gonna open these now. When I get new patches, I'm just like, oh, it's the best. Once again, whenever you're taking off this protective plastic or when you're reusing your CO patch and you are removing it from that landing shield that you store it on, you just wanna be super careful, don't pull too hard. Don't manhandle the beauty patch. You know, just be careful. What I do is I just take this part right here and I always place it kind of just right above my chest where I know it needs to sit perfectly. And then I just take and gently press and then I'll cover myself up and then I just press it in between my chest and everything is perfectly in place. So there you have it. Okay, I'm leaving to go to my meeting now. So I just put on a shirt. I mean, yeah, you can still see it. It pokes out of the top. But first of all, I'm meeting a woman. And second of all, it's always a great conversation starter. And when I'm running around, no one really, you don't notice it. I mean, could the lighting be any worse? Seriously, wow. Okay, I'm back home. I'm in my bathroom where there's really bad lighting. Sorry about this. You can see this is still perfectly in place. I've been gone for about two hours and honestly, it was even warm outside. Nothing's happened to it. And by the way, the woman at my meeting, she was loving and respecting that I was multitasking my beauty regimen with real life. Anyway, I'm gonna do the lazy girl wash your face because I still have a few hours left of work. I'm just gonna take a washcloth and hurry and just wash my face, but I'm not gonna wash my eye makeup. One second. Okay, so my skin is completely clean and dry. Day one, a tip with the forehead patch is I always place the part that goes in between your brows first and then I press up. I go in so then there aren't any bubbles up and outward. And because I am so expressive, it has really helped for me to be wearing these during the day because when I'm like, ah, like making all these faces talking, it's real helpful. Okay, this is so sci-fi and chic, I think. So for the eye patches, I always place the inside portion first and press from the inside out. Press. I appreciate that it covers such a big area. Sio's not messing around, I'm telling you right now. Oh, why do they feel so good? It really is like having a treatment 
too, every time you wear them. So for the neck, I find the spot that bothers me the most and then I press in the center and then press outwards. Mm. I love that it is made where you can do it a little lower, a little higher. Oh, perfect. Okay, hey, ready to go back to work now. This is for sure a look. Work sesh is still happening. The wrinkles are going away. <laughs> Thought I'd check in with you. Regardless of what patch I'm removing, I always start on one side and then gently just remove it until the whole thing is off. Just be gentle. And like we mentioned in our first video, this doesn't ever hurt the skin. I mean, these are like the mothership of all silicone patches. The medical grade silicone. I mean, it's so soft and nice on your skin. It does not hurt your skin at all. Remove and then place on the landing board. I always take the eyes from the inside out because you want it to everything up. And then you just gently remove or taking good care of the patches. You're not pulling them. Mm. Hold the skin taut. With the decollete, I always pull it from the bottom, hold the skin taut, up. I do the same thing with the elbows and knees. Just pull upwards when you remove. And voila! I'm just getting ready for bed. I just washed my face, neck, and decollete, dried it off so it's squeaky clean. Tonight, I'm going to wear the neck and decollete CO Beauty patch. Just taking it off the landing strip. I am, once again, trying to keep it PG over here. I kind of get addicted to how good it feels. And now there will be no wrinkling overnight. Good morning. You guys, I'm in shock every time I wake up and I'm like, oh, they're perfectly still in place. By the way, I think I was like having bad dreams last night because I had a dream that I bit off all of my nails and like ripped them off and then they looked horrible. And I was like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? I have to film the video and my nails are gonna look horrible. And then I was like, oh, it's just a nightmare. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm just gonna take these off and I need to start getting ready. I can't take it. Okay, I just got in my car and so I wanted to show you one of my tips. I always keep patches in my car for the hands because it's the perfect time where, you know, my hands are just doing nothing basically. So it's amazing how much I'm able to utilize my time while being in the car and wear the hand patches. So I just always keep a pair in here. Usually I get in my car and put them on and then I'm on my way. When I apply the hands, I always do knuckles first and I press and place that correctly and then follow it the rest of the way. Push it down accordingly. So now the multitasking continues. I'm able to drive, commute, and work on my hands being more firm, soft, ageless, all of the things. It's like a whole new way to drive, I'm telling you. That's another little tip.
So now that we're on day 10, I want to show you guys how to properly wash your CO Beauty patches. I'm still in awe that you can wash them. That just goes to show the quality and the structure of the CO Beauty patches, that you're able to wash them and the quality is still there. I mean, sometimes you wash a sweater and it falls apart, you know? So the only thing you need is a sink and clear soap just a couple squirts of clear dish or hand soap. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the patch from the landing shelf. I wanted to show you guys that even after 10 uses, the adhesive is still strong, which is really impressive. Remove it with care and love. Now that it's off, place it with the sticky side up and I wash this because if I'm gonna get my silicone patch perfectly clean, I want to be able to rest it on something that also is clean. So what I do is I just rinse it under lukewarm water so I'm able to test the water and make sure it's the right temperature for the patch. So after rinsing it, I just take a towel and wipe it all off, get it nice and clean, and then I set it aside so I can place a patch on it right after. I put a couple of squirts of soap in my hand and then I apply it to the beauty patch. I turn on the water and rinse it under lukewarm water. And then just wanna shake it, get all that excess water off. One more little shake. You're just going to let it air dry by placing it with the adhesive side up on your landing shelf. This is the sticky side. Voila! And then you just set it out and let it air dry. Once it's dried, I store it with the adhesive side down. Day 15, working from home. I'm doing the works today because tonight I'm wearing this dress that's very low cut. So I'm definitely doing this and once again, So this is a no, because you'll see it will go over the brows. Make sure you're putting it where it won't hit any of the hair. Go all the way up the middle, and then push out. Mm. Now I have to get to work. Well, there you have it. Once again, with these up, always against gravity. You can see how much stick there still is. Stick is the wrong word, adhesive. I mean, it's pretty phenom, right? No filter. Oh, okay, you guys, I have one last thing to share with you. It's a little bonus tip because since you know, I'm an expert now. <laughs> the CO hand lift, which as you guys saw, I'm obsessed with. Yes, I keep one in my car, as I mentioned, and then I keep one up here. Guess where I'm not putting them? On my hands. You know that saying, less is more? Well, it turns out that's not always the case, especially when it comes to CO patches. So I take the hand CO patch and put it on my neck because more is more. I take it and I put it literally in the center. Push it down, push it up. And you can see it perfectly becomes smaller for the back of the neck. Look at this. Look! I can't handle this. And then I just match it up, center. I let it butterfly just a touch. Once again, center, 
push it back. Things are good. Mm -hmm. I'm not sorry for using the hands on the neck. It's almost like I'm being choked. <laughs> Just kidding. That really could have gone the wrong way. I could have said so many things right then. It's all day while I'm at home. This is what I'm wearing. And I'll tell you what, when I'm leaning down to work on my computer or on my phone or all of the things, there are no wrinkles that are going to be happening on my neck. Listen, I think outside of the box when it comes to these patches. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I love you guys.